Hey everyone, we're back this week and we're at Costco and we have a lot of things that we need to get today. Yes, we are going to get some of the things from our camping list. We are getting um, some new yummy food goodies and other goodies that I heard Costco has right now. Um, we're having a bake sale this weekend and a garage sale so um, to help our girls raise money for their mission trips. So I'm gonna check out the prices on their baking items like flour and sugar decide do I really need to get it from Costco or should I just get it from Target and just our regular grocery stuff. So I think we're gonna have a pretty big Costco haul today. Yep, let's go. Let's go. What are you doing? I love that smell. <laughs> Fresh Floho rubber smell. All right, everyone's got their thing. <laughs> well, I did just get those sandals for you. I think like a like oh. right before the cruise. Yeah. Or was it after the cruise? No, it was like a week ago. Oh, that's right. We were just talking about that. This year is flying by so fast. Carrie really, really wants one of those paddle boards. I think they're inflatable. Actually, no, I want I Yeah, wanted... this one's inflatable. Oh, it is? Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Carrie's tempted. No. Because we can make this. We have really good strawberries here in Modesto, and we can make them. They may not look as pretty. They will, but... look, they will look much prettier. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I believe you. All right, let's talk about this. Forever roses will last over one year. These have been genetically modified roses, I think. I'm so confused. I am too. They're $140. I don't get that. How is that possible? You know what? I bet you have to keep them in this like airtight case. That's weird. <laughs> you can't touch them. I don't know. That's so weird. So pretty. We don't need to spend 20 bucks on flowers right now. Does your Costco sell grapes? in a bucket <laughs> like ours does here. This blueberry is only 20 bucks. Wow. And it's got way more blueberries on it than the blueberry plant we have at yeah, home. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. It's pretty good for a blueberry plant. I wanna buy that. We, we have two plants at home though. I know. Yeah, one of the hard things to do when you come in Costco is like walking through that first initial section where they have all the specials and everything that's on sale and everything looks just amazing. And then it's springtime, you got all of the plants and all of the things in Carrie's eyes light up. The hydrangea, it's pretty. This is the world's biggest wind chime. Wow. Maybe not the world's biggest, but it's huge. That's cool. That's like a grandfather wind chime. <laughs> that's it's neat. only $54. I know, that's That is bad. not bad for the size it is. You're gonna like wake your neighbors up. I think it would, I mean, anything we'd hang it from, it would hit someone in the head and knock yeah. them out. And by the way, we still have not put anything in the cart. We're being very sensible. Yep. All right, here we are on the camping section. We're going camping and we don't need a tent. Well, it'd be nice to get a new tent, but we don't need one. One of our doors is actually like the zipper's busted, but there's a second door on it. It's actually similar to that one. Is there anything we need We need from here? I'm sure the girls would like a cot, but I don't want to spend $80. That's a, yeah, that'll add two. up. We yeah. did get our new sleeping bag in. We have air mattresses. I saw this sleeping bag a few weeks ago and 45 bucks isn't bad, but it's like a hybrid, so it it doesn't connect like a du dual sleeping bag. So the one I got actually is a great option for us. And honestly, I didn't spend too much more than that. I think it was $100. Here's the other side of the camping aisle here. We actually have insect repellent. Ever since we went to Yosemite, she's been like thinking about getting hiking sticks. I don't know why. Let us know if you use hiking sticks when you go hiking and does it really help or is it just kind of fun to like poke people that you're hiking with? <laughs> well, we went through the camping aisle, the outdoor aisle. <laughs> what we found out is we, I think we have everything we already need for that. Not the snacks, we need we snacks. We need food and we need snacks. So I think that's what we need to get still. Those mango margaritas were on sale a few weeks ago and they were really tasty. No longer on sale. Yep, it uh, looks like they are $14.99 for one and they're pretty good. We've had better. Well, of course, I mean. I mean, when you mix like tequila with mango puree and it's like fresher, I think it's a lot better that way, but that was not a bad deal when you got it. Carrie finally got something for a cart. So far I have margarita and avocado. Yeah, Carrie got some margarita mix right there. And avocado, so we can have guacamole too. We're looking at fruit and Carrie just said, no more oranges. I think we're done with oranges for the yeah. season. We kids. love like the baby, like the mandarin oranges, like the uh, cuties. Or halos. But we've been eating a lot of those this winter. Yeah, our kids are tired of them. Yep. So that's a sign of a good pineapple. If the uh, one of the little like leaf things pulls out Comes easy? Out easily, yes. Okay. $3.99. Not bad. Okay, it's much price. cheaper than getting it in Hawaii. 
Well, yeah, I know. Isn't that ridiculous? They're like $6 each in Hawaii, I think. At least the last time we were there in 2022. Speaking of Hawaii, they have papaya from Hawaii here. But we're not huge fans of papaya, like, by itself. Yeah, I don't like papaya. We love mangoes. Yes. Time to be cold. We're going in the fresh produce room where it's always freezing. I keep seeing this guava. I kind of want to try it. Is, I thought guava was bigger than that. They've had it like the last like, few times we've been here. That's not that big. And I thought guava was pink. This looks more like yellowish green. No, oh, we could try it. Florida. Yeah, I don't see a price. So we'll find out at the register, I guess. And here's the dried mango. Oh my gosh, we love this stuff. Alyssa and I really love it. She has it every day for lunch and I've had it most days with my lunch. And I also got these, this chili mango, which is really good too. We have like half a bag of each at home, so we're not gonna pick it up now. But let us know if you guys have mango or dried mango in your Costco. Yo, look at that cherry and cheese pastry. That looks incredible. We might get some of those for camping. Oh boy. I mean, we're not gonna get them this time because they won't be fresh anymore. But I think I see something else that I was, I heard about that looks good that I also wanna get for camping. We just can't get it today. We have to get it right before we go camping. Blueberry lemon loaf cake. Oh boy. $8.99, that's a really good price. Yeah, that looks good. So I, we're gonna bring that camping for All right. one of the breakfasts. That or those cherry cheese danishes. No. Well, because I we, know the like, girls won't like the cherry cheese danishes because they don't like cheese danish kind of thing. That's things. true. They won't They won't eat that. But they will probably eat the blueberry loaf cake. I think so. Cranberry orange biscotti. Oh, those, those are good. Really? I've had those before. We're not gonna get them. All right. Sorry. Yeah, six ninety nine for those. Let me get those. that blueberry plant. <laughs> Get some ground turkey. That's like a staple for us. We yep. have that all the time. Carrie puts that in chili. Probably once a week. Yeah. If you want to call that all the time, yeah. We have it on a regular basis. Yes. I mostly substitute turkey for beef, but we do have beef sometimes. I always want to get one of these cheese flights they have here. They're, they look so good. We love cheese and this just looks incredible. It is $24, so it's not cheap, but it looks amazing. Especially when you want to try like different kinds of cheese. Yeah. I'm gonna get this pineapple and bacon uh, sausage. It is chicken sausage and I was gonna use it. I, I think it will be good with the shrimp bake we're gonna do when we go camping. Cool. But it's on sale. So $10.69, $4.30 off. Yeah, we didn't go into detail on what uh, we're gonna be making when we go camping, but one of the, oh, yeah. well, one of the dinners, did, well you- edited me out. Yeah, because you kind of kept going on and on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do like a like a shrimp bake boil. We're gonna have sausage with it and like corn and potatoes. Yep. That will be good with it. We were gonna get the bulgogi, which is really delicious, thin strips of beef in like a almost like teriyaki Korean sauce. But, yeah. And you barbecue it, um, but they don't have any. So you're gonna have to get something else. That was gonna be for Thursday night's dinner. Now I gotta rethink it. I saw some beef short ribs i know i sort of headed back that direction that looked amazing and i would like to smoke them okay well you can be in charge of thursday night dinner then okay i'll go get it all right let's go this is what i was looking at this looks amazing this is uh just some beef chuck short ribs but they are usda prime and you can see all that marbling in there that fat that's going to be really good so i can't wait to smoke these i've never done this before on our smoker so looking forward to throwing those on there and trying those out well that looks tasty yes Goat cheese and caramelized onion. I ravioli? Yeah, I like to um, have raviolis on hand in the freezer. We have them a lot on Wednesday nights when the girls are at youth group. Because, because they don't like them. They highly dislike ravioli. Anything with cheese in it and pasta. In fact, if you ask Alyssa what her least favorite thing is, she'll probably say ravioli. Unfortunately, I think we missed the sale. I think this was on sale in the last coupon book, but still want to get it. I was going to make taco salad tomorrow and use this for the salad dressing. It's yum. That is really good stuff. And you got bee sauce. It's a family channel, people. We've gotten this before. It's really good. Yeah, we'll pass. Look how pretty this cake is. Raspberry lemon rose bunt cake. Very pretty. Very pretty. It looks kind of dry. I bet you it's good. Yeah, I guess so. But we're I'm, not the, I'm not a big bunt cake fan. I've just never had too many moist bunt cakes. I know, I'm strange. I see you put a lot of thought into this. I've had a lot of bunt cakes served that I've never really loved, so. Do you guys like bunt cakes? I'm sure some people do. Carrie just pointed out this uh, basket, this heart-shaped basket of cookies. Man, that looks hearty. Mm. 
Dang it, Carrie wasn't there to hear that. Horrible dad joke. Baked brie with fig jam and chopped walnuts? Oh my gosh. That does look good. That looks tasty. $9.79 on special. If we had like a lot of people coming over at some point soon, then that's my, something we'd probably get. And of course, you gotta get milk when you come to Costco. It's such a good deal. I basically plan my Costco trips around when I'm running out of milk. And like Carrie said, we're gonna be making cookies and doing a bake sale for our garage sale this coming weekend, so eggs are a must. Yeah, we already have the brown eggs that we eat, but I use the white ones for baking. Yeah, that 24 pack of eggs was only $4.99. Yeah, prices came to back down. That's always good. We like that. Carrie got the paper towels, and she's pretty sure we don't need toilet paper. But I'm probably wrong. No, we're gonna so we just get her thinking of toilet paper. Anyway. No, yeah. you know what? I haven't seen any extra toilet paper around. It can't hurt. Yeah. Carrie's checking her list, and I'm pushing the cart. Usually she's pushing the cart because I'm usually filming, but I'm doing double duty right now. <laughs> Watch out! Just <laughs> while, kidding. While she checks her list. All right, I'll take over the, the, the oh, cart. Oh, okay. I just don't really trust you with the cart. Oh. Especially when I'm walking in front of you. Yeah, I have clipped her on the back of her leg a few times in our marriage. Traumatic. <laughs> Alyssa loves this stuff. I can't remember if we said that before. This um, organic mango nectar, and they also have organic guava nectar. Both are really good. Carrie just uh, found out that the mango nectar is only 20% juice, and the guava nectar is 25% juice. So we like things when they're like more whole food to be a little healthier and less sugar. I think we'll pass on it for now. We might get it again. We're looking at all the ice cream treats that uh, we probably won't get. Well, we almost got past all the frozen dessert treats. It looks yummy and it Carrie, has real fruit. Carrie's been on this kick about mango and like tahine. And that's kind of what this is, I think. Ever since we were in Cozumel. Cozumel and I had that amazing mango margarita. That was the best thing ever. Yeah, we've been trying to recreate that and it's just been really hard to. What? Oh. Those are so good. They're on sale. Fruit sorbet is like in the fruit shell. Oh. Passion fruit, mango, pomegranate, red berry, ruby grapefruit, and coconut. That's Our us. kids will like those. I will like these. The frozen mango with tahine, chili powder, spice. <laughs> Don't know what it's called. I'm horrible. It's $11.99 and the sorbets and the fruit shells are on sale for $11.50. So I think that's like our frozen treats for maybe the summer. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it'll last a month, maybe. So since I got those beef, prime beef ribs, I'm going to smoke on Thursday. Carrie just informed me that Mother's Day is coming Sunday. You guys aren't watching this until after Mother's Day, I think. Carrie just informed me that I'm also doing dinner on Mother's Day. So I'm doing dinner twice this week. Wow, that and sounds difficult. And I am gonna be, it, that's difficult. Wow. <laughs> I'm so bad. But I think I'm up for the challenge. Should make you appreciate me even more. Yep. Since I do course. that every night. I do appreciate you. All right, good. Every time you make dinner. Really? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> that probably just means we're gonna have pizza on Mother's Day. No, I'm all already planning pizza on Friday. Ah, dang it. Because we're having the uh, the garage sale and I don't want to make oh, dinner Oh, that's that right. So yep. I guess I almost always make dinner. <laughs> yeah, I'll think of something easy. Camping staple, fully cooked bacon, $11.49 for 48 to 50 slices. Um, this it's is- So much easier when it's already cooked. We've gone camping before when it was like raw bacon. It took forever. Well, it's also, it's just- To make. It creates so much grease. Yeah. And our pan isn't that big. And it's not even, it doesn't cook very evenly. Yeah, so and you can is, only cook like four or six slices yeah, so at a time. Yeah, so this we just put in foil and put it over the campfire and bacon. Yep, it's perfect. BLTs, breakfast. Or just bacon. I it can go wrong with that. Yeah, we talked about getting actually like one of their all beef hot dog packages here. Uh, they have those and I, I can't remember if they have smoked sausage anymore. But the package is so huge at Costco. And I don't know how many of us would actually eat them. I know I want to eat a few like hot dogs over the campfire because we're going camping i'm gonna eat hot dogs over a campfire the packages are huge so i think we're just gonna get those at like a normal grocery store beef polish sausage 13.99 it's a good deal but you get so many of them so definitely gonna get those at the store coffee because of course mm -hmm. and this price is nuts i think about a year year and a half ago is about 9.99 but we love coffee Everything okay there? Yep. <laughs> I didn't get that on video, but. Well, you might have got it on the mic. Because <laughs> I just dropped a box of sour cream on the ground. To be fair, that's usually a move I would make. Very true. <laughs> Hearing random noises. Yeah. At Costco. I wonder if these, I, if this would be good for camping. I like making French press, 
Well, that's hot coffee. I know, I'm talking about for later in the day. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. $15.99, that's like getting one of those giant things of coffee that we already got. It's about the same price. Like the terms are on sale, I'm gonna make Alyssa very happy. You know, I was not allowed to have sugar cereal when I was a kid, so I just... You're the best mom. Well, I just... I like to let them have it sometimes. I know, I, I was the same. We had usually one... Sorry if I'm gonna out you on this mom if you're watching. <laughs> but we had sometimes one... Like, this is the kind of sweet cereal we had, Honey Bunches of Oats. Yeah. When I was a kid. And my mom would mix that with like two other things of really healthy cereal like grape nuts or like oh. raisin like maybe some kind of bran flakes or something like that oh and it was just sad yeah i was allowed to have honey nut cheerios on fridays that was my sweet cereal was honey nut cheerios. Wow. and then i went over to my friend's house and we ate all the sugar cereal we wanted yeah i kind of went crazy when i first moved out like a little bit post-college all i got was like captain crunch crunch berries and cocoa puffs <laughs> or Fruit Loops, and I just like had that's all I had for breakfast for like m a few months. Chocolate chips because bake sale, bake sale. <laughs> Chris and I kept talking about cereal after we shut off the camera, and we were wondering, do you have a favorite childhood cereal, and how did your parents torture you with lack of sugar? Also, or do you have a favorite adult cereal that you fell in love with as an adult? Oh, I have one. What do you know what it is? Puffins, peanut butter puffins. Peanut butter puffins from oh Trader my Joe's. Gosh, they're so good. <laughs> they're so good. Yeah, we want to know what your favorite sugary sweet cereal is as a kid or as an adult. We don't care. If you can hear that kid screaming in the background, I think it's because they weren't allowed to get the Lucky Charms. <laughs> Poor kid. I think we finally run out of sourdough. Yeah, we had like four loaves for a while. In the freezer. Yeah. Because every time I get one, I put one on the counter and one in the freezer. And then I just kept buying them. You doubled up on it. Once. Even though we had a bunch in the freezer. $6.89. That price isn't too bad. Nope. Mango Greek. No. No. <laughs> we don't need those. Well, it's not about need when you go camping. True. Were you going to reach those uh, Rice Krispie treats? Well, you saw that thing where someone was toasting the Rice Krispie yeah. treats, but they're I, 60. I saw like an Instagram reel or short on YouTube where someone grabbed a Rice Krispie treat out of a package, shoved it onto like one of those things you roast marshmallows on. And they roasted it over a campfire, yeah. and it looked amazing. But I think we'll get them from Target, because we don't need 60. No, we don't need that many. I mean, if they were on sale, then I'd get them, but they're... Yeah, but they're 14 bucks, and there's 60 bars in there. We're definitely not going to need all that. Oh boy, Carrie just saw these dark chocolate-covered mangoes. And I kept walking. I don't know if mango and chocolate would go good together. Have you guys ever had these? That sounds so interesting. I don't think I'd like it, though. Chocolate and mango. I've never seen that together before. That's super interesting. Okay, so we said no to this last time we did a Costco haul, but now we're going camping, which seems like a good reason Turtle to buy this. Turtle chips. They're cho choco churros. Oh and my and gosh. I remember somebody in the comments told us they were really good. Yeah, I think we should get them. $5.99. I feel like I was just told a yes. That's what we do when we go camping. We don't eat healthy. And I come to the store thinking I'm going to buy a lot of unhealthy stuff, and then I tell myself no for about three-fourths of it. But I do get a few things. And then you give in on a few things. Here are more flowers, but these do not say they're guaranteed to be, like, alive for a year. So, it really makes me wonder about those other flowers that we saw. I wonder how the heck they are supposed to stay alive for that long. After we check out, we'll show you guys everything we got. At least a whole, like, shot of the whole cart, and then let you know how much it was. Something happened. Oh, they went away. They got caught. <laughs> Carrie is trying the mango uh, dessert. <laughs> she said it tastes just like the dried chili mango that we have. Gonna give me a brain freeze. It's pretty funny though because when we first got this car in August and it was brand new, I didn't even let people like drink out of a straw in my car, and now I'm like. It's like my taste buds are dancing. <laughs> so good. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad we got it. And she's doing a good job of not making a mess. Unlike me, I would totally be dripping that everywhere. That's true. It's cold. Whew. You okay? Yeah, it's really good. Well, we made it home. Carrie ate actually a good portion of that. I am not a very patient person. Nope. Chris hasn't even started his yet, but I was eating mine while I was driving. Just like I would have been if I would have gotten a frozen yogurt there. Super safe. Do this, kids, when you learn to drive. I was being very safe. I have never gotten in, like, a real car accident or gotten a ticket. Like in parking lots. 
<laughs> How was it? It's like a party in your mouth. It's like sweet and spicy and cold. It's really good. She was making some like, woo, kind of noises <laughs> while we were driving out of nowhere. Well, because I had, the whole thing was stuck on the stick. And so I was like scraping the side of it with my teeth to get some of it off. So one, it was really cold. And two, sometimes I would just get the chili stuff. Well, we're back from Costco. And actually we've been back for a little over a week now. <laughs> yep, we're not wearing the same clothes and it's a different time of day. It's possible that we are wearing the same clothes, you never know. Depends on how much you guys pay attention. <laughs> we did record a video uh, ending our Costco trip, but there was no sound, so. Here yeah. we are again. And yeah. I can tell you, we have eaten most of the food that we bought at Costco already. Uh, at least half of it. Except for what we're gonna take camping. Um, a lot of times you ask, so we'll let you know we did spend $365 at Costco, which is pretty average for a large Costco, Costco trip. Yeah, I was asking Carrie, like, do you remember how much we spent? She's like, yep, it's the exact number of days in a year. Yep, $365 <laughs> and then some cents. We did get a lot of uh, things that we needed for the bake sale. Uh, the girls were able to sell all kinds of cookies that they bake. And yeah, the bake sale was this last weekend. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we, we did two things that were basically for our fundraiser because the, the girls raised all their money for camp and all their money for their missions trip. Now they are fully funded. Um, some of you actually um, helped with that and we really thank you. You found out about from the, uh, that from some other ways and we just really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Yeah, it was, it was, I was blown away when, uh, Carrie said, hey, we have some people who are going to be giving to the girls' missions trip fund. I We didn't send that out to you guys. That got sent out through, I think, one of your social media, like Facebook or something like that. Yeah. And then I started seeing some of the names of the people who are giving. I'm like, oh, these are people like who are part of our YouTube community. Yeah. That was so cool. So blown away. Did not expect that at all. Yeah. So thank you so much. Um, it's just amazing that they were able to fully fund their mission trips. Uh, Lindsay is going to Mexico and Alyssa is going to San Francisco yep. on mission trip this summer. Um, they also uh, were able to raise money for paying for their camp. We've been raising money by baking cookies for several months. Every once in a while over the weekend, I will just say, does anyone want to buy cookies? And Lindsay and Alyssa make them. We've baked a lot of cookies. Yeah. We do this every year and it helps them raise money for their trips. We do want to show you a few pictures from at the garage sale when the girls had their lemonade and brownie stand. As we're recording this video right now, the camera has this little strap on it and it's hanging <laughs> down and Nico's sitting in his, in his little tree and he's like staring at the strap like he wants to get it. So that is entertaining me very important to share thanks yeah. well and now that i say that he's not doing it anymore so you can nope. go into it he's just chilling enjoying the 90 degree weather we have today thanks you guys for watching our costco haul and glad we could update you on a couple of things even though the ending didn't work out like we originally planned i'm glad we were able to do it this way and share a couple of things with you guys next week we are going to be doing a q a video anything you want to know about us uh kind of what's going on in our lives right now anything about our family things that we like to do or anything feel free to ask and we'll do our best to respond to as many as possible in that video so you can comment on this video any questions you have for us or you can go over to instagram where we will have a story that is asking you to ask us questions yeah no, I'm, questions. I'm not sure when that story will go up probably sometime in the next uh i don't know four or five days so head to our instagram channel if you don't follow us there already go over there follow us and be looking for that story that we'll share soon okay now you have to show the cat uh, fine he was like flipping upside down Hey, Nico. <laughs> He's like, finally, I get the strap. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I get distracted by the cat very easily. Yeah, you do. We hope you guys have an amazing week, and we'll see you guys again really soon. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Why are you still here? Bye.